What is going on everybody? It is a beautiful day here at Mercedes-Benz of North Scottsdale. Today I'm really excited because I get to show you this American dream. As long as I've been detailing RVs, I've always said that the name American Dream is by far the coolest name of any RV on the market. Right now I have all the slide outs in because my teammates and I are detailing this coach, but in a moment here, I'm gonna put the slide outs out. We're gonna go inside and take a look at this coach. You guys know that I'm trying to get you the content as quickly as possible. As you can see, this coach hasn't even been completely detailed yet. So we just got the exterior detailed. I know the interior cleaning department is gonna be here tomorrow, but this probably isn't even listed on their website yet. So it's really exciting to be able to show you this before anybody else gets a chance to see it. This side is looking really good over here. I'm gonna put my bud Steph Curry on the spot here. This is Stefan with Cleaner Concepts Detailing, one of the guys that helps keep all hey. my clients clean. What's so up, Stephan, everybody? <laughs> hey, what do you uh, what do you think of this coach, bud? Man, I think it's in really, really good shape. Now it's got a good coat of wax. It looks really good. Bro, you just got done polishing this whole coach. Be honest with us. What are the flaws that you see? And we got to be transparent with you guys. So what what kind of flaws in the paint? Be straight up with us, bud. What what did you see? Any nicks? Any Man, little... I, I really, honestly, I haven't seen much. There's a couple little tiny, like this, just a little tiny. And that's like oh, one of tiny. Yeah. And you I mean, we're talking a lot of square you inches there. You'd have to really pick it apart to find something. Not much is wrong with this coach at all. It's actually really, really clean. Nice. One of the coolest things about this coach is it has a remote entry. How cool is this that you can unlock and lock the coach all with this remote right here? Just press the unlock button twice and it unlocks the basement doors. How cool is this? Trees right there. So I like this that you've got double slide out pull out trees. And rather than this being one huge pull out tray, it's got double trays. So that other tray will pull out from that other side. And you've got a huge power tray right here that I just press a button. And man, that thing's coming out quickly. It does need to be clean. Like I said, this is all brand new. It just came in, but. So you've got the central vac in this coach here. It's all in this basement bay here. And then here you've got eight house batteries. And one thing I really like to see is that when you see the whole story, the owner of this coach has distilled water in here. And that to me tells a lot of a story. When the previous owner did stuff like kept distilled water to make sure that they were topping off these batteries, it tells a lot of the story about the coach. That's why the detail guy gets to touch and feel everything. And the detail guy knows a lot more than you guys think. And he's got a hand pump here to put the water into the battery. So says a lot about the coach here. This is gonna be your inverter here. This coach still has waxes on it right now. So you see like these swirly marks in it. That's not anything to worry about. There's nothing wrong with the paint of this coach. That's just the waxes that are still on it. But you can see this little piece like right here that we already wiped the waxes. It's really cleaning up nicely. This coach is in great condition. Another really cool feature of this coach is this beautiful exterior entertainment area. I really like how this is kind of at eye level where a lot of the entertainment areas are in the basement bays taking up a lot of space, but this was very well thought out. Yeah, I don't mind. This side should be good though. Film. It's yeah. almost that's really good. Okay, one of the other things I will see, this uh, this is common, these plastic pieces that can be fixed. I've seen this happen before. Whole, uh, the whole front end is, is covered with a diamond shield, but just this little piece, for some reason, it didn't get covered with the diamond shield here. And that's why it's got those couple little stone chips like you see. That's kind of one of the cool things to show, just a testament for the diamond shield. Um, 
I know we hate them because if they get bugs on, the bugs can burn in, but this is actually in pretty good shape. There might be a couple little, um, you know what? There's a, there's a couple little things I see on the diamond shield here. Other than that though, this coach is in great shape. And a huge thanks to the folks at Mercedes-Benz of North Scottsdale for sending us so much detail work. We greatly appreciate all of the work. Okay, as soon as we get into this coach, the part of it that I have to show you that I really like is this flooring. If any of you saw my recent videos, this is actually very similar to the flooring I copied and picked from my personal coach. Beautiful cockpit area. I'm not gonna lie, I've never been in this coach. I don't know how to operate. So we do need to put these slide outs out. Let's see how hard it is to put the slide outs out. But first, let me check and make sure nobody's standing on the outside of these slide outs. I'm gonna put the slide outs out real quick, bud. Go ahead. I'm just kind of learning as I go, but I have to point out that one of the things that I really like about this coach is that it has the dream stitching here in the seat. How Literally living the American dream. So one of the things that I've got to notice too, when I sat down in this driver's seat, it's nice and firm. It's a great feel. It has a lot more support. Um, definitely a big step up from my coach, that's for sure. To put the slide outs down, I need to make sure that the jacks are out as well. Okay, so it looks like the jacks are in the park position. It's good, the generator started up, right up. 320 hours on the generator. I like these uh, nice digital screens here with the American coach. There is 25,542 miles on this coach and 693 hours on this engine. So it looks like you've got two different types of engine brakes going on here. Get your tag dump button, get your air horn. I love sitting behind the wheel of these big diesel pusher coaches. I'm just getting excited up here, but I need to get these slide outs out so I can show you guys what this looks like. Let's see. Okay, how cool is this that there is a window up and down button? Okay, I'm just having too much fun with this. Let's go ahead and extend this slide out here. It's that full wall slide extending. I'm gonna put both those slide outs out right now and then I'll put them back in in a minute. So if you guys can just kind of wipe everything. Nice, nice, that was cool. It took me a second to figure that out, but not long at all. It was really easy to figure out. Put this slide out out here now. So with all of these slide outs out, it got a lot bigger in here. Okay, so I'm putting the rear slide out, out right now. And one of the things that I'm being drawn to is the rear, the huge rear bathroom back there. I also notice all of the beautiful decor on the ceiling here. And there's an actually a generator switch here next to the bed. That's really cool. So I'm gonna turn the generator off from the bed here. I don't wanna keep running those hours up for any potential buyers. Oh. I figured out how to get the slide outs out, got the coach fired up, didn't take very much time at all, really low learning curve on this coach. Absolutely beautiful with the full wall slide over here on this side. I am just really impressed with this coach. And so you've got the two sofas on each side, and I'm sure these probably fold down into a sleeper sofa of some sort. It looks like this has got the full pull out hide a bed. And then you could tell this is really high quality cabinetry. It just feels really sturdy. And then it's got carpet lined cabinets. And then notice it's even finished back here as well. It's totally finished off in there. And just an absolutely beautiful floor plan with the kitchen off to the right. Ambient lighting in the backsplash over here. Backsplash ties in really nice with this huge granite countertop and then a huge Whirlpool residential refrigerator over there. A good size midship TV and a nice dining area over here with the two, uh, with the granite countertop. And then one of the other really cool things, I really like the styling of all of the switches in here. And then you've got all of the different shade buttons. Let's see, all shades. 
All right, we're putting it to the test here. Okay, so I just hit a button titled All Blinds, and all of the blinds in the coach are rolling down at once right now. This is really cool. But just like that, we blacked out the coach. And then I press another button and all of the blinds come up at once. How cool is that? You guys remember my buddy Tom Bartlett at- uh, Hello she, everybody, uh, Andrew. How you doing today? Mer Mercedes Benz of North Scottsdale. Tom, tell us a little bit about this coach. How did you guys acquire this coach? Well, the gentleman brought it in for one of our top-notch uh, Mercedes Benz cars. And we took it in trade because as you said, Andrew, it's pretty much one of a kind beauty. Don't see too many of these. Low miles, excellent Cummins engine. So we're waiting for the new owner. So one of the cool things I like about this is it's got a big washer and dryer here in the middle of the coach. So this is a nice area to do your laundry. Question for you. Yeah. So this coach has a half bathroom as well. And I really like the design that's on the wall. It's halfway up through the wall. And then you've got some cool woodwork. And then more of that cool design, more of that cool styling for the light switches. And even in the half bath, you've got ambient lighting below the sink. And then more cool ambient lighting inside of the backsplash there. A king size bed and that same very cool woodwork throughout the entire coach. Even in the master bedroom with a fan up there as well. You've got some controls here as well. These are going to be for your reading lights here absolutely love how open this floor plan is with this single full wall slide on this side it just really gives it an open feel uh, this bedroom is huge here with the full wall slide you've got all kinds of different cabinet space here nice granite countertops here let's look and see if everything is lined in the back yep all of these cabinets in the bedroom have carpet lining in them the same way they do in the front of the coach and you've got some huge mirrors right there and you can see like from where I'm standing I can see my shoes so for any gals that want like a really nice wardrobe mirror this is actually a really nice mirror right here you can see I got my no snow paddle boarding shirt on today I highly recommend them so one of the cool things about this coach is this huge rear master bath back here this is this is awesome the same floor throughout the entire coach and I love these floors and then a huge wardrobe closet along the back of the coach. And then a huge shower back here. And then you'll have a cedar closet back here. The beautiful shoe cubbies back here that are completely carpeted. And then a safe down here. And then this is completely carpeted as well with the cedar closets. Looks like a couple chairs there that, that are uh, additional chairs that can go with that dinette as well if you need. Hey, I greatly appreciate the folks at Mercedes-Benz of North Scottsdale for all of the work that they give us detailing their coaches. And I greatly appreciate them letting me film these coaches so that you guys can see them as well. So if you're a serious buyer and interested in this coach, you can contact Tom Bartlett at Mercedes-Benz of North Scottsdale. I greatly appreciate all of you that are watching and subscribing, and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.